hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here my name is esther morfri in today's video i want to show you how to trade bullish flag pattern yes how do you trade bullish flag pattern all you need to do is open your chart and it is easier to to spot this flag chart pattern i will try to insert a vid, uh, a picture of how it looks like when you open any chart uh, the bullish flag pattern it it happens mostly on an up an upward trend of a market so for for this case i will show you with euro card this is our euro card so we have euro card it's four hours i like spotting my patterns in four hours why because they are very very stable and once they are broken the trend will move to either direction that the, the price has broken to so it doesn't have many fake outs like small time frame so all you need to do is to spot an upward trend uh, market so we can see that the market was going making high highs and high lows high highs and high lows and we have all this big push to the upward so most of the time many people want to short the market they'll short the market here they'll try to sell here and some will try to sell here and every time you try to sell the market push higher the market push higher so i can show you how to trade bullish flag pattern in a very simple way and this is what you do when you find the market has uh has um uh, uh, the market has gone way way on the upward side all you need to do is to mark uh, your zone because we need to mark our zone and we don't need that zone to be broken anytime soon to have a, a bullish flag pattern so when you mark our zone let's say if we had marked our zone there you can see in the next four hours that zone was broken if we had marked the zone there it was broken but now see the, this case is different when we mark that zone in that place the market did not break that uh it did not break the zone so what happened the sellers took this market down you can see this big push and they came to this targeted place so if you had this zone marked on your chart it was easy for the market for you to understand that the market would have would come to that place and now what happens with bullish flag pattern it starts to make uh, low lows and low highs so you can see this low will be broken and that's what you can see it has been broken here 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 all this market is trying to do is trying to change the narrative of this market was an upward trend so don't forget that bullish flag pattern it it just takes a break and it takes in a downward trend and then it go back to the original move so don't be light to even if you are selling in this market keep in mind that if this market breaks it can even go very very high so let's start to mark our zone we have said you have this big push so this is what you do just know that that's my big push and my 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 zone has not been broken so if the zone has not been broken you can start anticipating is this is this a bullish flag and then wait for buyers to give you a low high so you can see all along we had this we had this low and then when the buyers tried to push the market again they never removed our zone that's why i was saying when you have a zone here you anticipating if you see the zone has not been broken by the, the the these buyers you see these buyers did not even come close you know that now you have a zone so what do you do you mark that <laughs> line we are marking that line that is our upward trend and then uh we are connecting where the buyers were plus these buyers where they have reached the market and here we can stretch there we can see now the market is respecting that zone and that's how now you start identifying the the flag so this is a pole this is the pole this now is that trend line that now makes the flag and then now where the lows are being touched you can see it's so clear this is a low this is a low this is a low this is a low so you will try to you'll try to to connect those laws that are being created so that you can understand is this can this be a flag so we have a very perfect flag so you can see in this case the market touched once touched twice on the upward and then touched the third time 
And then now on the downside, the market has touched once and now has touched again. So what are we anticipating here? For us to continue uh, buying this market on a long-term trend because once this market breaks here, it will go this same distance. So it will go this same distance. Let me show you. If the market breaks, if the market, let's say it comes and breaks, it goes the same distance as, uh, let me show you. So if the market breaks here and retest, where does the market go? The same distance as the pool. You see here, this pool, it will go the same distance. So this market can be a very, very long-term buy. But you can still try to, to trade in between this flag. So what do you do? You wait the market to approach to this zone. When the market has approached to this zone, wait very quickly. And then uh, just wait for a bearish candle pattern that can be a bullish a bearish engulfing it can be a spinning top a hammer those those uh reversal candles and then after that when you enter a sale let's say the market approach here and then you get a bearish engulfing where is your take profit your take profit is this level so there are do's and don'ts of bullish flag how do you uh what are you not supposed to do you're not supposed to trade when it is at the center and that's the the same uh that's why if you know how to identify a bullish flag pattern it is easier not to enter a market if it has not given you a chance so at uh, this uh in this video i have analyzed euro card go uh, to four hour on your chart try to mark this pattern and then try to trade it so what happens if the market breaks this zone so let's say the market break our zone like that if it breaks our zone don't enter immediately why it can be a fake breakout so what you'll do you will wait you will wait for the market to retest the zone and then it gives you a confirmation on with a candle and then you do what you enter buy and this is long term if the market comes here and it gets rejected you will know like here you see this candle let me zoom it for you that candle which candle is this so you see it touched our zone and it got rejected and we had uh, the, the market coming down and then we can see again here you can see here we have all this spinning top and then we have these candles the reversal candle and then we have this big momentum reversal candle and then you know that market will sell and these are very many pips so if you entered sell there they're almost 160 pips so let's say the market approach to this zone and then you get uh you find that if it if you if it comes here it reacts and then come to the uh the other zone it's 143 pips so all i can tell you guys is that try to trade bullish flag pattern and it's the same with bearish uh flag pattern if you if you are interested with this uh if you have if you have learned something kindly uh give this video a big thumbs up until next time bye bye